everyone. Do you face issues when you're trying to enjoy a wonderful English movie or a movie with English subtitles? Or whenever you're enjoying a beautifully written English song, you always get stuck when some words get into your head which you may not know or the words you know but you are not able to understand the meaning or usage. Well, I am here to help you in those cases. I have brought a list of such words which are commonly used but still not commonly known. So let's start with such words but before that please do not forget to click like to this video. I'm sure you're gonna love it. And on top of that please subscribe to my channel so that I can come up with a lot of such videos. So let's get going. First and foremost the word is hasta. Yes, hasta. As the name suggests, hasta, so definitely there will be a has in it. You got it right. Hasta stands for has to. Do you know the usage of has to? Let me help you. Has to is used for an action or a verb which you do not wish to do, but you have to do it forcefully. Yes, there is a force which is asking you to do it, but you do not have the wish. Like, she has to wash the dishes. No, she has to wash the dishes. He has to be on time. He has to be on time. Very simple. Coming to number two in the list. And this word can be called as the cousin of has to. I'm sure you must have guessed it by now. The word is have to. Similar in usage, again for an action which you do not wish to do but the subjects are different. Like she, e in case of has, in case of have we will say you have to maintain silence. So it will be you have to maintain silence. They have to return my money. They have to return my money. Very simple. A small tip here, if you notice this ver sound. In have to turns into for in have to. So it will not be have to. It will be have to. Yes, have to. Great. Third and one of my personal favorites as well. Because this word is great. And the meaning is equally great. So kick ass. Kick ass stands for something which is extremely good or excellent. Yes, something impressive. Something marvelous. Kick ass. Did you see his performance last night? It was kick ass. Where did you get this kick ass jacket from? My God, go and give your kick ass performance. Isn't it great? So despite of saying excellent or extremely good, kick ass is still a better and a more rocking word. So use this word and people are gonna love it. Let's come to the next word. Next word. You may not have heard of, but this is again commonly used. The word is knackered. Yes. Any guesses about the meaning? Let me help you. Knackered stands for when somebody is extremely tired or extremely exhausted. Yes, extremely exhausted. Like, why do you look knackered today? What happened? The other person replies, I worked so much today. I am so knackered. If you noticed, hair again like no. Yes, K and O W. Hair also, the sound of K is silent. So it will not be knackered. It will be knackered. Understood? Let's get going to the next. Luca. Luca again is a term I'm sure you must not have heard of. But this term will definitely relate to you. Or you will relate to this term definitely. Let's start with the meaning. Luca is for a person who observes everything but he or she doesn't participate. So we'll call him an observer who observes but definitely not shares. Let's take a wonderful example. You must have had that person in the group who always keeps on listening to people he observes but he does not participate in the discussion. Or that person who keeps on checking your status, your pictures on Facebook but he would never like your comment. He would never like your picture. That person is called Luca. Yes, he is such.
such a luca why do you act like a luca isn't it wonderful a new term an amazing term to be used please use it coming to the last in the list and a word which is oftenly found and used in media the word is paparazzi yes paparazzi paparazzi is a term used for those photographers or i would say media photographers who click picture of celebrities you must have seen people running after these celebrities to get their one picture one photograph these people are called paparazzi these people actually click this pictures in order to sell them to media or to newspapers so such photographers are called paparazzi yes guys i'm sure you must have noticed that my pronunciation was little different here i did not say paparazzi i say paparazzi yes there is additional sound of t here after r so it will not be paparazzi it will be paparazzi yes paparazzi i hope all these six words were understood and clear i'm sure you'll be able to use them very well and clearly and sound like an impressive speaker all around the world i'll see you very soon please click like to the video and do not forget to subscribe to the channel i'll be coming up with lots and lots of such words and videos to help you guys to establish yourself as a great speaker and yes do not forget please subscribe i'll see you very soon take care